Hey guys and welcome to another video of Asian Network and today is second part of free videos for Microsoft Office. Basic information so you understand what Office is, what it represents and that's it. So today it's all about talking about two types of offices, 2016 and uh, Office 365. Uh, I will be talking about editions, uh, how to use completely free version of Microsoft Office and how can you actually use Microsoft Office over the your web browser. Before I do that, I just want you to subscribe, like or dislike and of course share with others. So let's start learning. First, I'll be talking about most common, most known Microsoft Office programs and service named OneDrive. First program I want to talk about is Microsoft Word. Word is text editor program, which you can make uh, and edit and print uh, a lot of different documents. Uh, you can insert graphics like images, you can make tables and many more stuff. First version was released on October 25th, 1983 under the name Multitool Word for Xenix Systems. Later was created for other platforms like IBM, Apple. AT&T, um, Microsoft Windows and many more. Word program become part of Microsoft Office 1.1 version at November 19th, 1990. If you want to read this text more thoroughly, just pause this video and continue when you want. Next program is Microsoft Excel. Excel is leading spreadsheet software, which has grid of cells with numbered rows and letter columns. With it, you can make status reports, bills, contact lists and more. Excel was developed by Microsoft and became part of Microsoft Office version 1.0 at November 19, 1990 but it was first created in 1985. Electronic spreadsheets can be traced back to 1978 and since then we got few different programs that can be used for electronic spreadsheets. Until 1985 where first Excel program was created. Next program is Microsoft PowerPoint. PowerPoint is used for slideshow presentations which you can put in a lot of different musics, videos, pictures and many more. To present a business plan, describe something to co-workers and much more. PowerPoint was released on April 20th, 1987 by Forfru Incorporated, initially for Macintosh computers only. But later on PowerPoint became part of Microsoft Office Suite for Macintosh in 1989 and for Windows in 1990. Next program is Microsoft Outlook, which includes email client, calendar, task manager, address book, and you can sort, create, receive your emails, manage contacts, and much more. Microsoft Outlook was created in 1992 for Microsoft DOS and became part of Microsoft Office 97 suit at January 16, 1997. Several versions of Outlook were also created for classic macOS, while final version for Mac was made in 2001. And the service I want to present is Microsoft OneDrive, which is web service, cloud storage, file hosting service, where you can store a lot of different data like documents, music, videos, 
and it even allows you to store personal information and settings for Windows, Office and other Microsoft applications. First limited beta service known as Windows Live Folders, codenamed SkyDrive, was available to a few testers on 2007. After that, that service was just growing and growing. On December the 2nd, 2008, individual SkyDrive account capacity was upgraded from 5 to 25GB. After that, SkyDrive was connected to more and more services. SkyDrive was renamed to OneDrive on most platforms on February 19, 2014. Now I need to talk to you about two types of Office that you can buy today. First one is Office 365 and second one is Office 2016. But you are probably wondering what is the difference between those two. One difference is that you are renting Office 365, so you can pay per month uh, or annually or you can just one time purchase, so it is lifetime. But for lifetime you get limited package, just few basic programs that you can use. Ok, about editions, packages I will talk a little bit later. With Office 2016, you are buying license, that is lifetime. And do, uh, so I do not forget, you do not need internet connection to use Office 2016. But if you want to use Office 365, you need to be connected at least once a month to the internet. So. Uh, Office would re verify your license information. Another difference between those two is that Office 365 is basically Office 2016 plus additional programs, uh, additional services. Basically, with Office 365, you are buying Office 2016 plus extras. And now I'm talking about editions of Office packages. If we look at Office 2016, you get here three different packages. Professional Plus, Standard and Standard for Mac. You can get uh, additional versions as you see, uh, traditional editions, home and student, home and business, standard, professional, professional plus, and for Mac, home and student, home business, standard. So if we scroll down on this page, remember all these websites and data if you want to have additional information about these packages about office you will get everything below this video in comment section okay let's see office standard 2016 uh, and look at more details if you see you get applications that are included Outlook, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote Publisher, but no services at all. And here you got a lot of different data about desktop editions of Office application, uh, which includes web. Uh, so I see here web. You also can use Office applications for free, absolutely free. Uh, over the web browser, but you need internet so you can use it. But even uh, if you are paid version of Office, you can still use it almost all applications inside your web browser. About that a little bit later. Okay, web versions. As you see, uh, Word, OneNote, Excel and PowerPoint. No publisher and no Outlook. There is a lot of different uh, information. You can read all of these, what each this application uh, offers you. As you see here, 
uh, the difference between those two is that you have access and Skype for business. And again, a lot of different informations. Desktop version that is for desktop computers, laptop computers, basically on Windows operating system uh, and Mac. Oh, this is Office 2016. Let's go to Office 365. As you see here, uh, we have Home, Personal and Office Home and Talent for PC. But this is for home user, that most probably you are, who is watching this video. For business, if you are a business, you can select one of these packages. <laughs> okay, let's go for home. Let's go down, uh, apps included, and that is important. You can uh, put Office 365 at five, five computers, desktop computers, personal computers, laptop computers, <laughs> okay, or Max, or mixed, then five tablets, tablet computers, and five phones on Windows, iOS, and Android operating systems. So basically. You, are, you can use one subscription on all of these different devices. Uh, you also get one terabyte of, on one drive, which you can use to share documents and so on. 60 minutes Skype calls per month for each user and so on. A lot of different stuff. As you see, $99.99 .99 per year for home and $69.99 for personal version and home and student $149.99 one time purchase. Okay, I will not go deeper into these editions, you can read it on your own. And another site I want to show you before I go over the Office programs that you can use over the web browser is this site. Here you have some basic plans that of Office 365 or uh, 2016, even for Mac. You can compare the editions and so on for business, for home personal, students, Mac, or you can you want just to renew the subscription. And here is the last part of this video, which is how to use uh, Office programs, Office applications, services on your web browser. And also you can use uh, some of applications and services for free, absolutely free. So, how to do it? If you have subscription or not, just go to www.office.com and click sign in. Now, go, go under here in this box and type in your email. The fastest way to use the applications if you have Microsoft account, email account. That means Outlook.com on the end of email, you know, Outlook.com or MSN.com, Hotmail.com, Outlook.com and probably some more, but basically uh, every single Microsoft email account, just you just log in right here. But also you can log in with your uh, Gmail or Yahoo or whatever account you have. If you do not have registered uh, your account other than Microsoft or you want to create new Microsoft email account, just click, click create one, sorry. <laughs> okay, but let's say you already have email account and just type your email. And now just click next. 
on this website just type in your password and just click sign in and here you are now you uh, here you have all the applications you can use service let's say word if you have just click and you will see that is basically the same look like the program you install it on your computer click whatever you want and you need to wait a little bit and here it is you can do a bunch of different stuff you can type you can change the size and so on basically have fun <laughs> And if you want to sign out, just click sign out. And that was it for today. There is a lot of different information that, to go through. I did not cover every single um, function, information, edition and so on. Because there is a lot of different stuff, a lot of different information. Uh, and it would take a long time to make all of this information presented to you but if you want to know just look at the description below this video and learn if you have any questions did not understand something want to ask me something want just to talk just type everything in comment section below don't forget to like or dislike this video, subscribe to my channel so you get notified about new videos, share video with your friends, co-workers and others so they can learn too, and have a great day, bye bye!